Ryan, definitely today looking forward to getting outdoors. Indeed, yeah, I think it'll be a warmer and drier day, but some spotty chances of rain like we're seeing this morning. And some thunderstorms south of Albuquerque also beginning to fire off in Carrizoso, just to the north and west of Rudoso, and some storms as well to the east of I-25 near Willard. Now the storms have weakened, just some light to moderate pockets of rain, but starting to reform near Berlin. So you guys might be waking up to some wet roadways, but there are those storms near Carrizoso moving pretty quickly with stronger upper level winds pushing those two storms farther to the east northeast. We got to watch out for more chances of rain, especially in the short term. And we're going to be seeing things start to change, though, later Labor Day weekend. But we are still dealing with some leftover showers in Parts of Eddie Lee and Chavez counties as well. Again, some showers starting to pop up near Rudoso, very light, and they're moving pretty quickly, so no flooding this morning. Very likely some showers starting to develop south of Carlsbad. More moisture coming in from the south. Eastern areas today a little bit more wet. We're already beginning to deal with the showers this morning. Moving near Roy and Clayton, you guys are dealing with light to moderate showers. Not amounting to too much, and they're moving pretty quickly. Meanwhile, showers drifting very slowly to the east near Taos and near Red River to your west near Española, but you guys are rain free for the most part. Shower zone near Cuba is counterclockwise curvature to the north and west of Cuba, indicative of a low pressure system with more very isolated pockets of showers drifting from near Camano to the south and east, not really amounting to too much. And again, there's that counterclockwise spin in northern areas with an actual weak low pressure system overhead and more storms starting to fire off in southern and eastern areas. Plenty of clouds in Albuquerque, but we are rain free this morning and air temperature is 64. But in the southern parts of the metro, again, some hit or miss showers and rumbles of thunder quickly moving off to the east northeast. 56 in Alamosa, mid to upper 40s in the higher elevations, more humid air indicative of more moisture and more chances of rain in the short term, especially 68 in Tucumcari, still very mild in southeast New Mexico, Roswell 75 as well as Carlsbad, a bit cooler there in Hobbs, 68 degrees, drier in Farmington in a beautiful sky right now in Albuquerque, hit or miss clouds above the Sandias. Gotta love when the city lights contrast with the deep to light blue skies and the kind of dark clouds out there. We're still a little bit dark out there. 64 right now at the Sunport. A south south usually wind at 8 miles per hour. 80% relative humidity. Today will be a warmer and drier day, but still temperatures pretty close to our normal high temperature of now 87. I think we'll be right around 88 today in Albuquerque. Close to 90 in Tucumcari, lower 90s in southeast New Mexico. Maybe a tad less hot because of more chances of rain. 70s in Alamosa, 70s and 80s in northern and western areas. Mid to upper 80s and near the low 90s in Farmington with a low chance of rain and a pretty dry air. Some very sporadic storms in the San Juan Mountains near Durango. More concentrated areas of rain around Santa Fe, Taos, Red River, Rudoso, Roswell, and Carlsbad this afternoon, as well as near Tucumcari. Then a moist backdoor cold front comes on through, meaning cooler and more moist air from Tucumcari along I-42. Albuquerque may start to re-pop up this evening around dinner time, and that's something we'll have to watch out for. The Sangre de Cristo Mountains as well, from Mora to Las Vegas and Villa Nueva, you guys are under a flood watch in these areas for Burn scar flash flooding still as a possibility. Here in Albuquerque, 88 with a low chance of storms to this evening. But again, some storms more likely in the East Canyons because of that cold front. So more moisture in northern areas, dry or northwestern areas. Here's the storm set up for today, especially near Tucumcari along I-40, developing overnight with more moisture, more moisture, cooler air, and more chances of rain including far to the west in the Gila National Forest. The four corners mostly rain-free in the short term in the 80s in Durango, upper 70s in Pagosa Springs, high 70s, low 80s in Cortez. And at Gallup and at Grants, temperatures in the mid to upper 80s today, likely rain-free, not too bad of a day, 90s in Las Cruces and Alamogordo, Silver City, upper 80s for today. Rudoso, some storms nearby this morning, Carrizoso as well. We'll have to watch out for more slow-moving storms today. But Carlsbad and Hobbs, Upper 80s, lower 90s, rain free for most of the day. Again, some showers though nearby. Tucumcari, strong gusty winds developing as well as near Roy and Concha, Santa Fe, Angel Fire. Temperatures generally in the 70s and 80s. Red River, you may not even get out of the 60s today. Now those East Canyon winds picking up from really Moriarty to Tijeras and in parts of the metro. Temperatures in the mid to upper 80s and lower 90s today, pretty close to normal. Then. More storms and the lower high temperatures for tomorrow and Saturday. But hey, 
Here's the good news. We become a little bit drier Sunday and a Labor Day, but we don't warm up too much. As a matter of fact, mid to upper 80s, right where we should be. Picnic weather. Yeah. Getting out of cooking weather. Perfect. Yeah. We'll take it. All right. Thanks a lot, Ryan.